So hello, welcome again. So we'll just pick up where we last left off, where we had this uh, ODE. Okay, so uh, we're going to tidy this thing up, and then we'll try to solve it. Okay, so let's let's try to tidy this up. I'm going to shift this whole thing to the other side, to the right hand side. So it will be this fraction. I will just uh, shift it over here, and then of course I'll invert the fraction a little bit okay next thing I'll do is just to cancel some terms because 3 will cancel with 3 and 2 will cancel with 20 so I'll just get rid of this okay so I just put over 1 and 10 Next thing I'll do, I'll do a fraction of a square root new here. Now, of course, this. square root new and u infinity will all be pushed to the right hand side I can just remove the brackets so let me remove the brackets and I will multiply the whole thing through by 3 square root x okay I'll multiply everything through by 3 square root x so this will disappear. Here will be 3, so I'll put 1.5 square root x will disappear. And the right hand side it will be 3, so I just put 30 square root x, I will just put all the way at the end. So, uh, okay we are more or less there so this this whole thing on the right hand side um, yeah this whole thing on the right hand side I will just group it as one term okay so I'll just put a let a so this is uh, let a equals to this whole thing on the right hand side which I don't want to keep writing out for sake of careless mistakes so I'll just group this thing together I'll take out the square root x of course because uh, that thing's not meant to be in there okay so that your equation will be reduced to this and you have a, a square x here okay now uh, I believe we are more or less ready to start integration Okay, so we are ready to start integration. We'll need to... oh, Let me put the 1.5 on top here. Alright. Okay, so I have this over here. Okay, I have this over here. And the next thing I want to do is to do integration. Okay, we want to integrate. So I, uh, I'll have this... Uh, we'll have this uh, first order ODE form here and you can actually take a look at Wolfram how do you actually solve so this one is with the use of integrating factors you can see y is actually dt cube here all right oh let's let's do this yeah y is actually this dt cube here qx equals to a square root x hmm I wonder where is this extra Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Some typo there. Okay, so Px equals to 1.5 over x. Qx equals to a square root x. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do this. Okay. 
we can of course replace everything by dummy variables okay x by dummy variables x x prime okay so this will this will make it easier to integrate because we are only integrating up to a certain point which is x Th those are the limits so I'll just uh, replace the whole equation here by dummy variables so that we can start integrating so as you, as you can take a look y prime is already over here this is uh, px this is qx so let's let's do this px p or rather px prime equals to fraction 1.5 1 1.5 1 over x prime and of course the uh, qx prime qx prime equals to a square root x prime All right and then we can just substitute in so one of the things we'll need to evaluate is this integral of px dx and then you just take an exponential of that so let's let's uh, do integral of px dx so you integrate from 0 to i think x or i think you you should okay uh, i think oh yeah so it looks like that there, there's only like one limit over here so uh we'll just take it to be x okay okay so when you found when you integrate then you just substitute it back with x okay so for example px equals to 1.5 over x prime so you integrate uh, this 1.5 over x prime dx prime and over here you'll see that it is just a ln of x right so 1.5 ln x okay 1.5 ln x of course there's a plus c there but we are only in we are only evaluating it at x so there's no plus c the plus c is kind of taken care of over here so i'm not going to do anything much okay uh next thing okay so well this one okay good thing it doesn't look that difficult so anyway let's do an exponential to this okay uh so we can find a denominator exponential 1.5 ln of x and that will be equal to exponential of 1.5 times exponential of ln x which is just x okay so that that's uh, the denominator bit okay let's let's go to the numerator and we'll just ev uh, evaluate this integral okay let's evaluate this integral and this will be equal to integral of uh, this exponential thing here which is just one uh, exponential 1.5 times x exponential of 1.5 times x then you multiply it by qx which where's qx qx is a square root x prime okay if you want to do the dummy variable way then sure but uh, maybe we'll just do indefinite integrals first okay we'll do indefinite integrals first then we'll implement the now we'll implement the integrals later okay all right so we'll just work it out uh, we'll bring the you will bring the uh, a and the one exponential 1.5 out a exponential 1.5 and of course we'll have this here so it's x to the power 1.5 x to the power of 1.5 <coughs> so um, 
this will be the, the part in the numerator okay this will be the part in the numerator and let's substitute everything back in oh okay this this one uh quite simple uh we'll we'll need to uh quickly just have it x okay fraction x to the power 2.5 divided by 2.5 okay now now we are more or less there so let's substitute this back into the expression for y or in this case delta t cubed so we should be able to get it delta t cubed so the top here will be just this uh, expression which we just derived All right, and the bottom is very simply exponential 1.5 into x then the c we shall leave it there okay they're telling me I have an extra all right I do have an extra bracket <clears throat> okay okay I think I forgot to in to put in some parentheses there this should be x to the power 2.5 x to the power 2.5 Okay. <clears throat> okay, so A is not arbitrary constant, but uh, A is, uh, yeah, A, okay. Yeah, A is not arbitrary constant, A is just uh, uh, what we defined earlier. So let's uh, quickly separate these two out. Okay, so we'll have two terms. Uh, okay, I'm going to separate this out into two terms. Okay, so the first term will just contain this and the second term will contain the arbitrary constant of integration. So you can see some things will start to cancel out. Yada yada yada. Okay, the exponential 1.5 will cancel out very nicely. And x will also cancel out so that on top you just have x to the power 1.5. And then this will be your first term. Okay, the second term, we need to apply boundary condition. Okay, apply boundary condition, x equals 0, then uh, delta t must be equals to 0. This is our boundary condition for this case. So the only way for that to be true is for c to be 0. c must be equal to 0. So we have an expression for this thermal boundary layer. At least thermal boundary layer cubed. Yeah. Alright. So at least at least this looks somewhat of a somewhat uh, relatable. Okay, and you can see at least uh, from here delta t will scale again as square root of x which is what we should expect for either momentum or thermal boundary layer. So even if some things are wrong, at least, at least that part's correct. Okay. Mm, okay, equals math cal O is in the order of square root x. So this is how the scaling is done. Okay, next, we will need to substitute back A. 
So what is A? A is uh, over here. This alpha blah 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 thing. So that's the reason why I like to substitute out these constants so that it looks nicer during the integration. Okay. All right. So now we have this uh, mess of things, and you can see it's dependent on this uh, new u infinity, etc., etc. Okay. So uh, now, now let's uh, get something is some things in. I uh, want you to note this relationship. Okay, delta p. Okay, we will again bring this relationship in. Delta p over x equals to 4.64 square root of Reynolds number x. We want to bring this in again. Okay, and you notice a lot of these these things are in uh, powers of one point five. So we might want to make this new into the power of one point five as well. Okay, because we want to collect these things all into one term, and of course we'll get a Prento number popping out very nicely. So let's put new one point five on top. New to the power one point five on top, and. We'll take this uh, alpha over nu at the bottom and we'll see that the parental number actually starts to pop up. Okay, this is the inverse of parental number. So let's, oh, wow, I keep forgetting to do that, bracketing properly. All right, let's. Okay, so all of these will kind of uh, scale. Okay, all of these will nicely. How do you put this? Okay, let let's let's give you the expression for R E X again. Okay, the Reynolds number with respect to X. Okay, uh, let's do it square root. R E X equals to All right, let's do this. Fraction X over square root R E X okay equals to fraction okay new uh, square root of new sorry square root of new and then we have uh, square root of u infinity and x will be on top now this is the important thing to note so x over rex okay x over rex so this will be if you want to replace it with the reynolds number will be re x into rex or x over rex or x over one x uh, yeah, my goodness so this will be x cubed okay x cubed over rex to the 1.5 okay so let me take this out x cubed over rex to 1.5 rex 1.5 okay now here's again a nice part okay this uh, actually corroborates very well with this you look at this Okay. 
delta p over 4.64 equals to x over square root re x. So this, this part can easily be replaced by the delta p, which is the boundary layer. My goodness, why is it there? Yeah. And of course, I want to replace this by the printout number as well. Okay, so new new will be at the oh, printout number with the bottom. And here will be delta p over 4.64 cube. So with this, we can actually find out our boundary layer scaling. This will be quite good. So let me finish that, then we'll call it a day. Right, so I'll bring the delta p to the other side, and then I'll just crunch these numbers together. Delta t cubed, and, and I'm hoping we will get the right answer. p cubed equals to 1 over parental number, fraction 30 times 4.64 over 4.64 cubed, fraction 1 over 2.5. So let's do some number crunching. Okay. Okay, so this, uh, I just brought the delta p cube to the other side and I, I make sure there's a cube here. All right, okay, 30 divided by 4.64 squared. Okay, and this whole thing will be divided by 1 divided by 2.5. So 0 0.55 at the top. So it's a 0 0.55, give or take. 5573 Alright And then we want to keep root this Equals this to the power of 0.3333 Okay So yeah um, Anyway just wanted to check something. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we we just crunch the numbers and we get 0 0.5573. We take the cube root. Okay, I hope it didn't mess anything up too much. Now we take the cube root, we will get this number. Okay, delta t over delta p. How does it scale? Equals, it is equal to 0 0.822965 fraction 1 over parental number to the 1 over third power. Now you can see the boundary layer actually scales with the cube root of 1 over the parental number. Okay, if you, if you actually, um, if you use the similarity set, uh, you use the similarity solution you will get this okay uh, you'll get this following you replace the 4.64 with 5 because that's uh, closer to the similarity solution kind of a momentum layer okay so you you keep repeating the steps all the way through you get a slightly different answer so uh so it's 30 okay you try and get this 30 divided by 5 square times 1 over 2.5 because that's what this side is saying you cube root this you will get 0 0.78 uh you will get this uh, 0 0.78927 something like that 
Okay, 0 0.78297. 0 0.78297. So, okay. And this is uh, pretty close to what you will find in the notes, which I, I'm giving you the link to. This one is uh, by App Neptel. Okay, so uh, either of these case, whether you use uh, the similarity solution, uh, where uh, delta P over X is actually 5 over the whole thing, so you will get slightly different. So everywhere you see 0 0.64, you just replace it with a 5. You will get a slightly different answer, but the scaling-wise, it is still the same. It's not that far off. Okay, so this is uh, how the the ratio of the thermal boundary layer and the momentum boundary layer, the thickness, how will they change? So it scales with Prento to the one third power, which is not, not too dissimilar from what we've seen before. Uh, so mm, yeah, that, that's good. That's good. So anyway, uh, cut, cut for today's video. I've uh, spoken what I want to. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again. Bye bye.